First of all, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to my kids, my daughter and junior, and happy Thanksgiving to the whole world, and especially the U.S. Armed Forces, every branch. So, and a very special uh, thank you and happy holidays down here to Nehemiah Station, uh, as they found us some great new stuff here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out our Zoom thing. What we're going to do is we're going to have two... Uh, this is basically something I've known before of my studies I've got recorded of catching this stuff. And what I'm doing is I'm magnifying up with our magnifying tool. And you're going to see our triangulation of our terahydrons, tetrahydrons. And it's basically no mistake because those are no birds. And as I'll be able to zoom in a little bit more, and then we'll see if we can move around a little bit. And see, we stay in on that. I should be able to keep pulling the magnifying tool with me. And as you can see, those are terahydron tetrahydrons and basically my basically this is basically with me keeping in my brain uh, quantum leaping and if this is man-made then it's man-made but I don't think they're that far yet but my uh, study my private studies in uh, space physics and basically what it is is electrical physics and it's actual factual which what out there naturally by whoever you want to say created uh, or whatever and I'm a scientific mind so the idea big bangs okay so we have a triangulation here and you can see it and we'll pump up a little bit more and when I minus down you'll be able to realize that all this stuff is there and now I'm going to be really playing with because it's hard to try to play around and there's some of the equipment there's an excavator and then there's snow machines and they basically are observatories they go out and look around they've got the snowmobiles too as you can see there, there's a line of snowmobiles actually those may be uh, uh, groomers in the distance but I thought I seen some snowmobiles and maybe if we zoom down maybe those are snowmobiles there I seen a line it, dirt, well when you play the movie there'll be some snowmobiles sitting there and those might be snowmobiles I'm not sure so we come back over here and we'll go searching and see if we can run back into our their terahydrons, tetrahydrons, basically stars in black, ladies and gentlemen. That is right, correct, black light. And this is what they're wondering about, black light. And I think I've got the black light down. Uh, and it is energy. There is energy that comes off of these. And there's the, up there terahydrons, tetrahydrons. And there's a triangulation of this. So basically there's probably, unless it's man-made, and I'd really doubt it because this matches what I found naturally in space. And then we got black light. And there you get it. Terahydrons, tetrahydrons. And these things rotate around. As you can see, they'll change. To some naked eye, they might make you think that they're birds, but they're not birds. And it's perfect triangulation. You see, we got there. And we'll come back down here. And basically, I've got the physics down of the idea that what we've tried to do, or what we do pretty much have down for cloaking, uh, we've learned from space. There's a bunch of physicists, the physicists that basically got their ideas from looking at objects that they would see in space, and also in their studies of electrical, that they were probably able to propagate. So anyway, this stuff is natural out there in space, so now we'll zoom down. So you realize this stuff is there, and then I got another. We got a star cluster that's going to be important to study. Let me. I got to stay here to make sure you realize that this is what we've been looking at. I'll get this up, and then I'll just zoom down. I love this magnifier. This thing's awesome. Get the rat gnats ass of everything. So and then I can basically pump this up, and we'll mine. We'll get this off the screen for a minute, and we'll see what else we get back. And I think if I just keep backing up, I'll try to pull the clock up so you can see it. And so that's going to be down there. I'm not worried about too much. At least we got a good shot. So basically, you got those that come in. Our black light triangulation. And I know what it is because I've matched it up in searches before that I've seen off of Soho. So we've got that. And then we've got a very interesting cluster here. It's going to show up in the sky. I think we're getting close to it. It's also going to be on the ground. And we might have more here that are. Oh. Not that great. And let me keep on sucking the video back. And I'll get our cluster. Now here's it on the ground. Okay. And that is a star cluster. And just watch, watch this, check this out. We're gonna back up a little bit more. 
and as it changes when the brightness if it hit in this the snow pack and as you see it's quite bright and you can go watch the movie today if you get a chance and I'll get it frozen here hopefully it'll pop into here pretty soon because it was in the sky and I, maybe I bumped and went the wrong way with the video here so I might have to just hit play by it and as you can see it's doing that action there it is in the sky there we go so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just zoom up on the picture size or actually we'll get the zoom tool out again we'll just hit it and we'll get what we got in our cluster first off I guess what we'll do is we'll hit back and then it and I'll put step and there it's back and I'll step again and then it's gone from back so basically we're getting that star cluster that came down and remember how it magically went around the Nehemiah station last time so and since we can find the pointer in here starting to wonder if this could possibly be but if it's man-made then it's something that uh, defense contractors are playing with or something like that but I really doubt it I really do believe that this is just a star cluster we catch in space and that's basically and I'm going to try to nail it down by looking at my various ways of being able to search the sky out and see what we got up there in the sky okay so that's it there and I'll get rid of this for a minute because it's not really going to help us get much any bigger than this so I'll bring this up I'll minus this down and there's what we got in the sky and now I screwed up because I'm basically going to have to go back down and find my magnifying glass and here we go look at that and we'll minus it down real fast and there we were at Nehemiah and now I'll just start the video haven't taken a look at what we got for big quakes I'll, do, I'll hit that in a minute we'll see if we can just get the video to play I'm not even sure if we're going, we're going backwards in time so what I'll do is I'll hit back step I think I can get us going forward and then hit start yeah here we go so we just go through we'll play the video and you'll see those objects and maybe you can see something else and if I see something else I ain't really gonna have enough time in the video to show it I don't believe and there you go that's how fast it went you know I'll probably just let it play and let it come back and you'll see that star cluster that we zoomed in on it does look like something else popped through this the clouds did some burning through the clouds and as you can see those objects and pretty sure there's snowmobiles out there yeah they have snowmobiles lined up so they're probably going after asteroid material again in their studies from what I can understand I think we've seen a sea container come up in the submarine or whatever I think they are coming up in the submarine they do have a basement on it and they do do fish studies the cruel the crawl fish I think the cruel however you say it very interesting fish very uh, interesting for studies so we went through that and I'm wondering if we're gonna get to the star cluster again here I didn't even pay attention to what time the clock was the star cluster so I'll get ready to hit step when it does come up and there and then we'll go back I think we'll be able to get to it and there's your star cluster in the sky and we already zoomed in on it so it's right there very interesting we'll end up finding out what cluster that is in one of these future videos and you can see what it does when it hits the snow too it also is uh so we do have a star cluster and it's 1050 UTC let's see if I'll go back it came up at uh, 1110 UC, UTC time exactly 1110 UTC and that is a star cluster with a star so it's between us and the distance of the Sun pretty darn much it's pretty very easy to tell that distance wise just by seeing it with your eyes and you can see how bright it is on the snow and then we have that basically I've got the secret of that black light I've got that figured out Nehemiah scientists probably do too and if not I figured it out for you so I got it from last year's studies from watching you guys' webcams don't even have to be there wouldn't want me down there my snowmobile goes too fast so anyway
let's go ahead and see what we got for Quake. Pull up the map. And we got something up in Alaska right now, it looks like. Let's see what we've had latest. Looks like we had a 4.0 off of the Canadian coast again. Drag it out a little bit. See what else we got. California had one. In Mexico, we had some action. 3.6 down in. We used to be able to know how to get this thing to stop. Mm. There we go. And we'll hit the states. USGS pretty much sucks. They always take the the truth off them anyway. Usually they minus a little bit off the magnitude. So here's what we got for the latest on data. Bunch of fives and 6.3. Some Bawa Indonesia. 10 kilometers deep. 32 kilometers at 5.3. 10, 20 kilometers at 6.0. So let's see what we got for second page. Our 3.6 was in Indiana. 3.6 magnitude quake. Tuesday. So. It's holiday week, so I started a day early. I don't care. It's Thanksgiving. So here you go. There's the quakes around, and we've got some fresh ones, it looks like, down. Let's see what magnitudes we got. 5.1. 16.7 kilometer, 5.8 meg over there. That's part of that Indonesia stuff. And if you've been watching my videos, I've been telling you about all this stuff. Okay. If you pay attention to my videos, I've already showed you most all this stuff before. So, uh, still recent though, it's not that old. So, we had this up in Greenland. We got this off of the Mid Atlantic. So, also this here. So, it's all real. So, Like I said, the charts will be calm until we get some of that bigger stuff around. As you can see, I just whizzed through here and you can see there's hardly much any action at all. So, basically if the bigger stuff comes back around, let's go. Too close, huh? So I wanted to see what the bottom of their well is because that's zero. That's nothing. So we see this object, hang on. Our object from the 19th. And I'll get another shot of it too. Get that, it's that close, and then hey, here's another shot of it. Then we'll go see this one from the 19th, it's close. And here's a video on that one. So, asteroids, comets, meteorite. We already got 10 or so objects on the 21st already, too. I'm gonna take and show you this one here, I think, real fast. This one looks pretty good. More than six distances of the sun and the earth, though, as you see there, six IU, six and a quarter IU. And here's this one here. Pretty good shot coming across the sky. And Western South America, 6.1. And then there's a the time and local here, Central Tanner time, and we will find out what it's in Antarctica.